Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is wishlisting for Fifi's June release cocktails and mocktails. So if you're not familiar with PPU, it's basically a buying bonanza that happens once a month for three days you can shop. But before that, you have a week that you can wish list. And of course, there's a Facebook group where you can get some spoilers ahead of time. So if you love indie polishes and love looking at swatches and choosing which ones you're gonna buy, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be aware each time I upload. And for any who are already familiar with PPU, it's basically just a really, really fun way to get some new brands that you may have not looked at before into your collection. Also, it's a great way to discover new products that you may have not used before. And... I personally can attest to that with my cuticula obsession. So our first one is Bee's Knees Lacquer Skooma. Now this one is going to be $12 a bottle, no cap, and it's inspired by the legal potion from the Elder Scroll Games, a dark purple cream with glowing blue to purple shimmer. I find this very intriguing because I've got some blue to purple shimmer polishes or purple to blue shimmer polishes and they don't have this dusky quality to it. It's dark, but it's not very bold. So I'm really excited to see what this one looks like in person. But in the meantime, check out that shift, guys. It is so prominent that you just can't really miss it. And like I said, this one is $12 a bottle. So it's under my $13 a bottle threshold that I usually keep within. Also, it's a blue. So it's something that I usually don't wear that much of. But that purple and blue glow is really pulling me. And because there's no cap, it means that I don't have to have ninja fingers for this one. Next up is the Stamping Plate by Esmaltes de Kelly, and it's just called Drinks. This one is $14.50 per plate, and it's just pretty much inspired by drinks. However, this one does have a cap. It's only $150 available US, $20 available for UK. And the reason why I'm looking at this play is normally I don't, go too far out of my maniology circle of plates that I purchase. Once in a while I might hop on an Uber Chic because there's a sale or jump at a clear jelly because there's a sale. But this one, I feel like it's something that's very versatile. I'm looking at it and I'm seeing fruit slices. I'm seeing flowers. I'm seeing garnishes. I'm seeing pineapples, different types of drinks, different types of glasses. And being that I am over 21, obviously, um, I can legally drink. And sometimes I'm in a mood where I want a party. So fun plate all around. And next up we have Nailed It Nail Polish No Way Rosé. And I'm seeing that this one is coming in with, let's see, oh yeah, this one's $12.75 a bottle. And I'm not seeing a cap anywhere. Wait, here we are. Yep, it's a cap. 200 US, 20 UK. And this is a peachy pink jelly packed with gold to green shifting crystal flakies, a complementing coppery gold to green shifting shimmer, and a subtle hollow. So, I'm not here for the hollow, guys. You've If you've been on my channel, you've seen that there have been some hollows that I can't resist and some that are like, nah. They're pretty, but it's not going to be the end of my life if I don't have it. And I have been on this peach kick all summer. Like, I know that everybody else is really doing the neon greens, but what I'm 
finding hard to resist is peaches, especially peachy pink anything. And that's what this polish has. And I am really, really thinking that I'm going to need it. Next up is J. Ren, and this one is On the Rocks. Now, this one is $13 a bottle, no cap, and inspired by the blue crane On the Rocks. On the Rocks is described as a bright blue jelly base loaded with tons of red copper, gold to green, chromatic shimmers. And yes, you can definitely tell with this polish that you've got shimmer packed in there because it is so shifty like it looks like no matter what angle you're going for you're going to get that shift and I'm so excited about that because J. Ren does this really really well and I've seen some of their polishes before purchased some of their polishes before and yet they still manage to keep making polishes that are not exact or similar duplicates to ones they've already released which i can definitely appreciate also this is one of those that is going to be super unique to my collection because i don't think i have anything like this I do have time to check though because wishlisting is today. Purchasing starts on Friday. And next up is Ethereal Dragon Drink. So this one by Ethereal. Dang it, I have been staring at this on Facebook for the longest. It's $12.50 a bottle and this one has no cap. It's a bright neon pinky purple base full of copper pink to green shifting flakies. So... Of course, I like Ethereal for their shifty polishes, but I really go wild when they have flakies because their shifty base automatically gives the flakies a boost because you're getting different shades of the colors as you move your fingers, and that is just so impressive to me. And I'm it's clearly I'm under... It's clear that I'm under ethereal spell because I have yet to miss an ethereal um, since after I missed out on Ophidia. So definitely this one is, ugh, I'm going to need it. And I'm running out of time, guys, but this is all the ones that I picked for this month. Only five made it to my list and I'm going to have to still try to cut that down by two. So if you're part of my nail fam, thank you so much for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And of course, thank you guys so much for being here with me. Take care of yourselves and be safe out there.